crap, that music is way too loud. After submitting one bug report, the button stops working altogether. You'll have to leave and rejoin the game to submit another report. I don't know if this is supposed to be some sort of spam protection or this is just poorly coded. Either way, it's the main reason why this video exists. When you upgrade your IQ at the store, the IQ value doesn't update after purchasing and you have to revisit the store for the value to update. When you purchase access to new land, the prompt doesn't close after purchasing and you have to click the no option in order to close it. The anti-cheat is client side. For those who aren't game developers, it's a really bad idea to have your anti-cheat be client side because that means not only can the script easily be bypassed, but it leaks implementation and allows for exploiters to completely reverse engineer your anti-exploit code. For the most part, anti-cheats have to be server-side because server-side checks are much more difficult to bypass. So it's very concerning that I'm able to see errors with the anti-cheat on the client logs. You'll be spending 95% of your time at the cell area because even just solving one math problem will completely fill up your entire inventory. I seriously don't understand the point of the inventory if it is just going to fill up immediately. I get they're trying to keep the format of a typical simulator, but it'd be much better if you were to either massively increase the inventory space or just get rid of inventories completely. I don't get it. If you're trying to develop a game that tries to help kids learn basic math skills, why even have random operators floating across the map that give the same points that you get from solving a math problem? It just defeats the purpose of doing math problems for the most part. For some reason, the input allows you to type letters even though it's a math problem, which means you should only be typing numbers. Usually simulators have a huge problem with pacing, where it eventually gets too slow and it just feels like constant grinding. This game does the exact opposite and paces way too fast, as I managed to get to Rebirth in less than 30 minutes. I find it funny how the game sorts people by IQ points, a temporary currency, rather than cash or rank. I could just imagine the leaderboard constantly fluctuating. You can spam click the solve button and it will lead to some interesting results. The shop UI is not very intuitive. It took me a good minute to figure out where the different categories were. The math problems that are given to you in this game are fill in the missing operand problems, which is rudimentary algebra. Anybody in middle school or above will be able to solve these without a problem, but... For those who are younger, they will definitely struggle on these problems. Nice missing image texture. Okay, update. They did manage to fix this issue as of recently, but I'm surprised not a single developer went into the game before release and thought, hey, there's something wrong with our UI. Shouldn't we fix that first? Like, this is a bug that is so obvious to spot that if you just took a second to check your UI to make sure it's working properly, anybody could have spotted this issue. If you click on Instant Solve, you are immediately kicked from the game. Even if Instant Solve were to work properly, why would you want to spend Robux to save yourself a one second delay of answering the question or skip the question entirely? I get developers have to make their money someplace, but this is the most pointless microtransaction I've seen, and you're defeating the point of the game again by saying that you can pay your way to get the answers. Apparently, the music information is given to you on the bottom right for the current song playing, but I didn't figure this out because it originally never loaded in the first place. Sometimes when you give the correct answer to a math problem, the game will count it as incorrect anyways. Okay, I know that this game has its sleuth of bugs, but it really annoys me that even the most fundamental mechanic of the game has bugs. Like, have you ever considered creating a regressive testing suite full of different test cases to make sure that your most fundamental mechanics don't have bugs? 
This is such a bad programming practice that as a programmer myself, I'm absolutely disappointed. Plus 10 sins. Look, Ma, I'm running on invisible walls! The map is barely passable as is. I mean, I get that the map is not the big focus of the game, but something about the maps just feel lackluster and underwhelming. For starters, you definitely should make the starting map bigger, because the beginning areas of the map make me feel claustrophobic. I know the later maps don't have this issue, but it definitely should be crucial for the starting map. You should also work on making the maps more interactive. Make them more than just a standstill map that you just walk around. Add NPCs that can offer quests. Add interiors to look into. Add some minor animation. You have a map builder for your game. Put them to good work and make them show their potential. This UI is just not it. I get they are trying to make the UI look nice on mobile devices, but they clearly should adjust the UI for PC users so that way things aren't way too oversized. Speaking of mobile devices, solving math problems on a mobile device is much more difficult than on a PC. You have to use the phone's keyboard which will cover up the problem entirely, and it can be difficult to reach the numbers on the phone keyboard. Why can't you just implement a number pad so that way it's easier for mobile players to solve the math problems? Huge design flaw right here, plus five sins. The game has no progression in difficulty. Why can't there be harder math problems as you go further in the game? Why don't you start off quite easy? Would really help establish a sense of progression and would help boost your purpose of being an educational game. These prices are absolutely ridiculous! It costs 2,500 Robux to get 10 million coins, which I can earn in about 10 to 20 minutes! Numbers are abbreviated so heavily that it can actually have an impact on the prices. When I tried to rebirth, it says I couldn't afford the purchase despite me meeting this exact price point. When you've previously purchased a part of the map before rebirthing, you can still access that part of the map without the need to purchase it as long as you don't leave the game. The fact that Cool Math Games, the company that is known for hosting browser games, is officially endorsing this game doesn't give them the best image, considering how this game looks incredibly rushed based on all the previous sins we've discussed. I mean, I get a lot of people love cool math games and they do have a decent following, but this has got to be one of their more disappointing games that they have had. I'm all for cool math games joining Roblox and getting involved, but I hope that cool math games endorses games that have good quality and hopefully continue their legacy. This isn't the best launch of the game and it definitely needs improvements before this can really be playable. Hopefully Cool Math can learn from this and hopefully make much better games in the future. EA Sports. It's in the game. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making this video, mainly because of the sort of format that I was doing if I had a whole lot of fun making it for those who are big math EP fans I am not trying to say that the game is super bad but it's pretty obvious that the game was rushed and uh, I basically just made a list of everything that was wrong with the game and uh, hopefully the developers don't take this the wrong way and hopefully they will understand the feedback that I've given them and hopefully make the improvements that they need to make. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified for every single upload that I make. That's all I really have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace!